As many of you guys know by now, our team at Slam Philippines, Buhay Basket, Soul Movement, and Kickspotting were recently at Nike World Headquarters to get an early look and even wear test the upcoming Air Jordan 34. They all started with a pretty ominous message. In so many words, much more professional words, they told us, pack your bags, you're going to Portland. <laughs> Day one started at the Nike DNA Center, just a couple blocks away from the main Nike campus itself. As soon as we walked into a special room specifically outfitted for that weekend with anything and everything that's ever been significant to Jordan brand, that's when we knew. This one's gonna be all about Jays. And who better to welcome us than the Vice President for Footwear for Jordan Brand, Gentry Humphrey. It starts with a performance story first and foremost. So I think where we've been our best in creating product um, in, in the lineage of Air Jordan is when we've been able to solve problems from a performance angle first and foremost. It's, it's the, the base of it is to make sure that it performs first. After a quick history lesson and a nice little peek into what they got cooking, we were then driven to main campus at the Coach K facility where there were Jays waiting, an open court waiting, not to mention a quick run with Jordan brand lifer Blake Griffin. Every time I, I wear a test of shoe is, is uh, I have to feel like stable, you know what I mean? And, and that might seem obvious, but um, Every player is different, everybody's foot is different, and everybody's game is different, and mine's a little bit unique in that um, I'm, so, I'm kind of a bigger guy, but I handle the ball a lot, and I, I you know, play on the perimeter a little bit more now, so um, you know, being stable and being able to stop, go, and all that is important for me. Uh, so to me, the, the traction uh, was a big thing for this shoe, um, and, and over time, it's, they've just sort of fine-tuned it to where I feel I, I don't really feel like I have to worry about it a lot and that's important for me as well. Straight from the designers themselves, straight to behind the design inspirations, we knew everything we needed and wanted to know about Jordan's brand new game shoe. The vision of the shoe was really about removing material and, and unlocking the zoom bag and being able to see through it and you could see how extreme this prototype was where we were even thinking about how you can use this for for banking and removing the material and making it lightweight as possible and we, we kind of held this up we're like this is crazy this is like the first prototype tool that we got back you can see we still have it open up there we closed it up a little bit here but it was still open on the medial side and you still could see through it um, but when we started testing this we found that players were were kind of when they were they were sliding a little bit when they were when they were cutting on the court. I mean, we fought it a little bit and kept trying to think through different ways of, of right. problem solving. But in the end, you know, we really felt like okay, we'll simplify the medial side and then the lateral side. We contain the zoom a little bit, um, and it and it. I think it works. Um, it's not as pushing it as that, but I, it's still. We got most of what we wanted right. out of the shoe. And the most difficult thing is on. We we have athletes anywhere ranging from say 100 pounds at its you know lowest with the youth all the way up to 250 280 um, and so that's the tricky part is when you do carve away this much that you have to have some really good information and we use we use every tool that we have as the greater Nike and Jordan group to evaluate how to make this thing as durable, but how to carve out as much as we can. This one, for sure, I mean, every every game shoe we want performance first. Right. Um, I would say on this one, we really didn't want to have any excuses. Like, we didn't want a player to say, the traction's not good, mm. it's too heavy, I can't get locked down. Like, we focused on every element of performance um, to make sure that, you know, the player had what they needed to make the best game shoe possible. But then, like you're saying, like then you start adding the details and the the color, the icon of the shoe. Right. Um, even like coloring this, it just it gives it like an iconic read on the court um, that makes it special and makes it a game shoe. Right. Performance on this one is is really pushed to a higher level. All that stuff we were trying to figure out and explore it all all kind of came together and. Uh, we felt like we accomplished something pretty amazing. We hope you guys enjoy the ride and we hope you guys took a whole lot from this video we've put together. Don't worry, there's a whole lot more content on Instagram and Facebook on all our channels. So make sure you always keep it on Slam Philippines, Buhay Basket, Soul Movement, and Kick Spotting.